It's the start of a new month, and that means it's time for a new addition to the Blacklist collection. February's artist is Laura J. She is on the GG Autoblogger list as a result of who she decided to follow on social media in order to keep track of Gamergate. As with the last artist, I asked her to write a little something. And also, as with the last artist, I think you're gonna see that her being on some kind of list to protect people from harassment or whatever is ridiculous. Here's what she wrote. I'm a freelance illustrator and an animator, and I've been a strong supporter but a silent observer of Gamergate from the beginning. Following some fantastic people associated with the movement on Twitter has earned me a spot on the block list which is still being used by people across and beyond the gaming industry. It stopped me from offering work to a voice actor and reaching out to another artist. Although there are other ways than Twitter to contact someone, the blacklist bias goes both ways. I don't want to go out of my way to contact somebody ignorant enough to block thousands of people, guilty by association. She continues, but there's a spoiler, so I'll finish reading that later. As you can hear, this is a person who seems reasonable, has a good attitude, and if you look at what they put onto the internet, it's all totally innocuous. But in spite of this, they've been affected by one of these shitty lists that gets spread around. And while she's brushed some of it off by saying you can contact them other ways, what happens if the harassment hysteria reaches a point where you can't contact someone if they've blocked you on social media because that's bypassing a request not to contact them? And while I think her attitude of, well, if they're going to use that, I'm not interested anyway, is great, what happens when that's the norm rather than something she bumps into now and then? Laura has felt a little touch of what could be coming for her and many other artists in the future. If people blindly subscribing to mass blockers for their safety isn't criticized and fought. Which is why I'm very glad to be subverting these lists of people to ostracize and turning them into pools from which to pick artists to promote. So, without further rambling, here's some of what Laura J does. I had a little sift through some of the sketches she's uploaded, and as you can see, her work can be very problematic. Just look at the disgusting objectification of facial hair on display. Such misandry. Good grief. And I cannot imagine what she must have done to this poor cat to make it put on this face so she could draw it. You may think this just looks like a Krogan from Mass Effect, but what you're missing is the important part. Of course she chose to draw a Krogan. They are the epitome of toxic masculinity. And just look at this. Or this. More shameless facial hair fetishization. She is also guilty of promoting anorexia in monkeys and encouraging dangerous behavior. What happens if he gets too drunk, passes out, and his head goes under the water? Returning to seriousness, the stuff I like most out of her work is the cartoony stuff and the really brightly colored stuff. And it does get really brightly colored. Which is why I'm very happy with the design she made for me. I'm gonna let the ending of that note from her I started earlier explain where this design came from. She wrote, being a big fan of Harmful, I wanted to cheer up his fan base with a fun design. Anyone following the Twitch streams may remember I asked the chat what they'd like to see on a Harmful Opinions t-shirt. Cat girl, cat girl, you hollered. And so it was. I hope it's to your liking. Just avoid the oven with this one. Laura J. She sounds just terrifying, doesn't she? Exactly the kind of person you need protection from. The kind of person who should go on a list to be spread around and used to block her out of your sight. <laughs> right? Dangerous. So anyway, yeah, this design is made with people who watch the streams in mind, but it's also suitable for weebs and anyone who just likes the way it looks. As with the previous two artists and their designs, you can get this on a shirt. Links to the Teespring campaigns are in the description. As before, profits are split between the artist and me. If you're interested, there you go. If you're not interested, please check out Laura's work. Links to which will be in the description.